Agriculture Minister Zulfikar Mustafa on Wednesday told extension officers from regions 3, 4 and 5 that it is paramount for them to be fully equipped to respond to any of the sector's needs. Hence, the robust training to equip each officer with knowledge about all the agricultural subsectors is being done at the Guiana School of Agriculture at Monrepo, East Coast Amarara. For continued expansion and growth in the agriculture sector, we need a robust and coordinated extension and advisory service system that is accessible to all farmers and rural communities. The government is looking to us because they know that we have a sector that is robust and a sector that is moving. And you are the people. You are the people, if we have to make the changes that we want to make, you have to be the agent of those changes. He said many changes are being done at the ministerial level to make program rollout easier and one such adopted method is the farmer's registration system and an integrated agriculture information system. With this system, communication between farmers and extension officers will become seamless and more efficient. To add new resources for extension officers to use, he said that digital tablets will be distributed to the officers soon. But the minister said there are other challenges that must be dealt with, and this includes ensuring that each officer is equipped to respond to any need a farmer has. This is where the knowledge garnered from the holistic training sessions will be required, the minister said. He also disclosed that extension officers will soon start rotations to cover each subsector and regular training will be done to ensure the system is effective and satisfies the demands of the farmers. If you are working in Nari, you must do a little bit what we are doing in the agriculture sector. What we want to do, how we want to move the sector, how we want to build the sector as an industrial area. Minister Mustafa also said that the ministry is utilizing technology as part of its massive rebranding of the agriculture sector. The training sessions follow one that started in May 2023, focused on the use of technologically advanced equipment that will optimize the farmer's time and boost production. Reporting for the newsroom, Lazini Yearwood.